In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to combine your scientific data together in Python. So I have videos above that you can watch that walks you through how to read data into Python and how to filter it. And today we're going to work on how to combine it together. So right now in this folder, I have two uh, different types of data. One is um, mice data and the other one is lipid data for those mice. So I'm just going to read that in real quick. I'm going to create mice is equal to pd.readcsv. Um, mice data dot csv and i'm going to create lipid equals pd dot read csv and we are going to do um lipid data dot csv and then one thing i'm actually going to create before this and if you don't know i'm in jupyter notebook and that's how i'm uh doing this in here is I'm going to import pandas as PD. Um, this is what's going to be able to allow us to do this combining. So I'm gonna run this and then I can run this. So now I have two data frames and I'm just gonna show you what those looks like. So let's do mice head. And right off the bat, I noticed that I have an issue with this data. So you can see diet is on sex and sex is on diet. So I'm going to just going to show you real quick how to reset your column names. So I'm going to do mice.columns equals, and I'm just going to pass in a list of names. So I'm just going to set ID as the first. We can do weight second. The next one should be sex. And the last one should be diet. So I'm going to actually rerun this, delete this out. There we go. Now this is correctly formatted for us to use. So now what we want to do is look at our lipid data. So let's see lipid.head. Let's make sure that like is correct. So we're going to have the same mice ID and then we have three different lipid concentrations available to us here. So now what we want to do is attach this lipid data to here so we can find like average concentrations for females or average concentrations by diet or even map weight versus the lipid data. So what we need to do, which if you know SQL is known as a join, in this it's known as a merge or a concat. So how we're going to do this is we're going to do mice.merge. So this is saying perform a merge function on the mice data set. And then we can input the other data set. So we're going to have lipid. And then we need to give it a couple parameters for it to know how it's going to do this. So the first one we're going to say is how equals inner. So now that we know how we're going to do it, which is an inner merge, which means it's only going to pull matches from each of these, which is fine because actually all of these IDs are the exact same. We now need to tell it what columns should be matched together. So in our case, we have right on. So in the second data frame, we need to put in the column name. So right on equals mice ID and left on equals ID. There we go. So I forgot to include the underscore here. So the right on take the mice ID and add this data frame to this data frame matching the ID in the mice data frame to the ID, the mice ID in the lipid data frame. So now we have this, but we do have our two extra columns here. And so one thing we can do is now set this to, um, I'm just gonna make it equal to combined. And then we can do combined.drop and drop mice ID. 
And we gotta set our axis equal to one so that it knows to look in the columns instead of in the rows. So now we only have a single ID. We have the weight, the sex, diet, and our lipid data. Now, if we didn't have matches in all of these, we could do a right, a left, or an outer. So I wanna show you what those looks like real quick. So here we have a left. So what that's going to do is whatever your first table, so in this case, this is going to be your um, mice table here, the main table. It's going to bring everything in from this table and only the matches from this one. If you did this as a right, it's going to do the opposite. It'll bring everything in from your lipid table, but only your matches from your mice. And if you did an outer, it's going to bring in everything from both tables, whether it has a match or not. So if your IDs match, so if all of your IDs in one column and another column match up, then you actually don't have to worry about this because all of these will give you the exact same answer. It's only if there's a mismatch between them. So now we have um, this new thing that we, or this new table that we can run things on. So if you watched my previous video, you would know how to filter. So let's just do um, a real quick combined. Um, let's filter by, we're going to do combined. DF sex equals female. We're going to pull the PC 14 column and we want the mean. And I just forgot to put this in quotations. There we go. So now we can easily pull lipid data based on the categories of our other data. And so that's the power of being able to combine your data sets in Python and be able to do this. So this is now how you can work off of a combined data set is to use this um, merge function and it's a PD merge that you can do on a data frame um, to be able to combine all of this together, set it equal to a variable, and then you can do whatever you want with this larger data set. I hope this video was helpful for you. And if you are struggling with any of this, if you want access to these files and or to be able to um, get access to this code as well, you can access the link in the description below and that is going to give you access to all of this. Um, and then you can actually run this code yourself as well and start manipulating it. And if you are just getting started with Python, I really suggest checking out Anaconda and Jupyter Notebooks for you to be able to regularly run your code um, in this way and be able to get these outputs really easily. It's the easiest way to do data analytics and data science um, within Python. If you have any questions, please comment them below and go ahead and subscribe and keep updated. Um, if you want more videos on how to perform data analytics easier for scientists and researchers. I hope to see you in the next video.